Welcome, my fellow viewers and subscribers, and this is Super Chuckle Box Shake, and I am here with a game called Agent Dilipagena, I think? I don't know. It's a Unity game, and actually it was rather interesting, because when I fired it up the first time, it crashed on me. I don't know whether if that's actually a limitation of the opera. I don't know if it's a limitation of the game, a problem with the game, because, well, it also got shipped with a folder that says, but... Back up this folder, but do not ship it with your game. Honestly, dude, it's kind of like me pushing out the debug as the final build, even though I know that was a big mistake because I know not many people were going to be able to play it. But honestly, when it comes down to it, I think you also did the exact same thing here. <laughs> so, uh, basically, yeah, it's Agent Delipagina, which, of course... Uh, it looks interesting. Very basic, though. Uh, very low res polygonal, but you can use that to your advantage if you know what you're doing. Here, it looks kind of interesting. Uh, even after the inf accident, he's still very efficient to, against gang members. Yes, I could tell that accident happened. Anyway, he lost control of his body, and he can only control half of his body at a time and control the other half by pressing control. When he is shot, uh, he again can he gain control of the other half and lose control all of the one he was controlling, but still can control it by pressing control. So wait a second, basically you can't control half your body. So basically when it comes down to it, half the uh, top half, down half, ASD, W, okay, LR, R button for slowing down time. Okay, okay, seems like very simple controls. Hold, release or hold control, left or right, to change controlled half. Okay, well, let's see how this is going. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, I think I know what to do now. Okay, so I gotta wait for him to shoot. And... Slow down time. Bam. Ah! <laughs> you can't hit me, you can't hit me! Okay, slow down time, and slow down time. Bam. 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 There we go. Mission cleared, Agent. Okay, then. Oh, hello there. <laughs> If he can't shoot me, I bet you I can't shoot him. Okay, control. <laughs> it looks like I'm peeing red. Why does it look like I'm peeing red? Oh, I can jump. And I can fall off the edge of the earth. And never come back. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, you should have took a little bit of time to... Program some collision detection there, buddy. Why can't I... Reverse every time you shot. Okay, why on earth can I not get out of the game? Okay, Alt F4. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now you can see my power director window's open. Okay, yeah, please ignore that. So, anyway. That's interesting. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Let's fire up the game again. Hopefully it doesn't crash on me. Good. It crashed the last time I did this, so... Uh, okay, so control, switch, okay, control, slow down time, and shoot, shoot, and shoot, shoot, and shoot. There we go. Okay, so we need to control, control, slow down time, shoot, 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 and why am I not doing anything? Yeah, I figured. If, if you can't hit me, then I can't hit him. Bam, bam, bam. Why on earth is it not firing like it should be? Ah! Get back in there! Okay, why on earth is it not firing up like it should be? I mean, it should fire up. Yeah, it's firing up, and why is it not firing up right here like it should be? Oh, there we go. You could use other bull your bullets to destroy enemy bullets. I bet you that was an intentional mechanic. How much do you want to bet? Oh, you're easy to shoot. So would you. Wait, what? Okay. Shoot. Uh, nope. Uh, sheesh. Okay, I have to admit, uh, the graphics are pretty, um, uh,
There we go. Next day. Next mission. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Gee. Oh shoot. I died. I died. I died. I died. I died. I died. Holy cow. Wait. Did you have nothing else programmed beyond this point? I mean, quite literally. Oh. I can make them shoot themselves? Oh, now I can have fun with this one. Okay, come on. Come on, bad boy. Come on. Friendly fire! Friendly fire! Come on, let's see the friendly fire! Why? 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 Go oh, no. Okay, okay. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. There we go. Come on. Really? Huh, that's strange. Ah! Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry if it doesn't sound like I'm saying much, but, uh... Like I said, I don't know if that friendly fire thing that happened in the last level was an intention or not, but... Ow! Son of a gun! Go die in a hole! Haha, <laughs> you missed me. Okay. Oh, I can make these two idiots kill each other. There we go. That was easy. That was fairly easy. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Man, I mean, honestly, this game feels kind of boring because of the fact that there's nothing going with it. There's no sound effects. There's nothing satisfying. I mean, seriously. There's nothing satisfying with this game. Seriously. Oh, come on. Shoot your comrade. There we go. Okay. Like I said, I mean, there's no sound effects coming from the people. There's no sound effects. I mean, honestly, I think this game would be a heck of a lot better if you would add uh, some sound effects to go with that. Like I said, I think this game would be a heck of a lot better if you added some sound effects for, to go with your game, because uh, this is rather kind of uh, boring to play. Ugh. Whoa! Mama! Like, move, 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 Okay, so honestly, this is kind of an interesting way of playing with the controls, but I will admit, I don't think I would prefer this way. Oh, man. I have a whole fire... Die! <laughs> Just die! Wait, did I kill this guy? No, I did not. I did not kill this guy. Okay, so I need to get up here. Yeah! Yeah! Thank goodness I got superhuman jumps! Come on, shoot! No, no! Okay. Actually... Yep. There's a glitch here. There's a glitch with this wall over here. Okay, problem with Unity. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Unity is kind of a hard engine to use, so I'll give the uh, developer a little bit of credit there, because Unity is a fairly hard engine to use, so I guess this is a bit of an early debug build of the game. There we go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Uh-huh. I mean, not a bad idea for a game, but honestly, I don't think this worked out very well in your favor because, uh, well, let's face it. Uh, I mean, if it's, I mean, it's really not that bad of a game, to be honest, to be fair. But, um, uh, to be honest, I think I would remove the idea of every time an enemy shoots you, the control changes because that's kind of what's screwing me up here. Because that's what's kind of screwing me up here. If, and also with the fact that every time an enemy shoots you, you lose health. 
and you, eventually you die, kind of screwing up the point of it all. Why couldn't you just make it, like, um, uh, do, like, some sort of excuse, like, I mean, if you had to dip, put it into a story element of why the character had to do this, say, like, he's radioactive or something, that he couldn't die, and, uh, uh, therefore, it would actually make more sense with these mechanics about, uh, well, t like, something with the accident, something with the accident, you know, if you wanted to make it sense from a story, wanted to make some sense from a story perspective. But, um, uh, in a nutshell, these mechanics don't necessarily work very well, and that's because everybody is shooting you. And when everybody's shooting you, it's harder to shoot back at them. Just saying. Like I said, if you want to really try and do this right, maybe you should try and take some inspiration from a game like Red Hot, you know? Where... What the heck is up with this guy? I think I glitched out your game here. Anyway, I think I would take some inspiration from a game called Red Hot, a game that has some really primitive graphics, but is still a stunning looking game to look at. And um, uh, the reason why I would say that is because, well, basically, let's just say, in Red Hot, time moves when you move. Otherwise, you don't have any control over anything else. And that's where Red Hot really has its flair and why the mechanics work in Red Hot is because it's a puzzle game that's designed around the fact that you... is designed around the fact that when you don't move, you have enough time to contemplate and figure things out. But once you get into action, you have to work at it. You have to go for it. You have to make it... I mean, you have to do it immediately. Honestly, I think Red Hot was also a Game Jam take game too at one point, wasn't it? I mean, I think so. It, it also kind of had a very core concept like this. So honestly, I think if you wanted to do something like this, I think it would be more interesting to um, uh, make it so that the character will lose control of the top part of the body and switch with the bottom half the moment uh, you get shot every single time. And we make the player have no control over it whatsoever. Therefore, therefore, it'll allow you to strategize just a little bit more and make the character immortal. Therefore, it would change over from a shooter game, a shooter action game, to a shooter puzzle game. And like I said, it would be something like Red Hot. Like I said, I'm not hating upon your game. I'm just trying to give you some advice here that maybe you could apply if you were to further progress with the progression on this game. I mean, further develop this game, period. Because, I mean, honestly, it's not a bad idea that you have here. It's just not implemented all that well. I mean, granted, downsides of having a 24-hour game jam. But at the same time, I think you really would have something going on here if you were to just completely and totally scrap the health system and replace it with um, uh, something a little more thoughtful, like every time you get shot, the control switches around. So instead of controlling the upper body, which does, which shoots, you, the legs are now officially moving and you have to move out of the way or vice versa, you know, something like that. Like I said, take some inspiration from Red Hot on this. Try to experiment around with the mechanics just a little bit better, because I feel like you may have something coming on here. Do what you feel is right, okay? That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. So anyway, um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. And also, uh, if you want to check this game out for yourself, be sure to check down in the description. I left the link down there alongside a link for my game as well. So if you're if so, if you want to give it a shot, please go right ahead. So anyway, uh, this is Super Chocolate Milkshake, signing off!